So the next one is also a surface hardening technique. Is to alter the what? Surface chemistry. So we're going to change the surface chemistry. And you'll see the advantage of doing this uh, altering surface chemistry, okay? So the next one is to uh, alter the altering We alter the surface chemistry. So it's what we call, especially for steel. Okay, as I said, we are focusing on steel. So it's what we call carburizing. Okay, car. Carburizing. Okay. So carburizing, well, the purpose of carburizing is we're going to diffuse carbon. They diffuse. Wrong spelling. Okay, we're going to diffuse carbon. Okay, into the FCC austenite. It has to be FCC because it's less densely packed. Okay, austenite phase. Okay, and this is done at uh at elevated temperature. Okay, we we're we we're gonna heat it up, heat the workpiece up into FCC phase. Okay, and then we can also we so the next thing is we can gas carburize. Gas carburizing. So in gas carburizing, a hot gas okay, containing carbon. Okay, so it has carbon surrounds the part. Okay. So the surface, when you do this, the surface will increase in percentage of carbon. Okay. So this is by using gas carburizing. Okay. And the other one it is it's a very similar, but the medium is different. It is classified as liquid. Okay, liquid carburizing. Okay, so in liquid carburizing, okay, the steel is placed. Okay, it's placed uh, in a molten bath with carbon okay, with carbon so the, for this case okay it is this method of, of liquid carburizing is faster and unfortunately anything as fast is also going to be more costly process okay unfortunately so I'm going to write down an example, the difference between, we're going to compare normalizing and carburizing. Okay, I want you, I want you, I want you to, to see the difference, okay? So we did normalizing last week. Okay, last week was a lot of theory, kind of boring. So could you not erase the white part on the bottom? Hey? Could you not erase the white part on the bottom? Okay, the bottom, so this part don't erase, right? Yes. Okay, yes, thank you. I will do that. Thank you for letting me know, I like that.
So we uh, we're gonna pick a, a, an example. Yeah, we pick an example. So an example is a hypo eutectoid steel. You pick an example of hypo eutectoid steel. Okay. So for this case, we are talking about zero point three percent. Okay, zero point three percent carbon. Okay, and then we see what. So if with zero point three percent carbon, if if we normalize it, okay, if we get out normalizing. So what we what we get because it's only zero point three, right? So what we have over here, when we normalize, is we will get a thin layer. Of mountain side. Okay, so this is our thin layer of mountain side. And then our core, if we will get ferrite. Plus perlite. Right? So this is what we do by normalizing. However, if we do surface carburizing, so the next one we're going to compare. So we still have 0.3% carbon. Do the same. Right? And the surface, so now we change the surface, it's carburized up to 0.8% carbon. Okay, and I'll explain why 0.8 is a good temperature. Okay, so what you'll see over there then, once you do carburizing, what will happen? So, for example, the outer diameter is the same i'm trying to draw it the same right you will have a thicker layer of what mountain side right so this is our mountain side you have a thicker layer okay so you have a thicker layer of mountain side after you quench right and the surface, over here, the surface will have 0.8% carbon. Because you did carburizing. And then at the core, right, at the core, we still have what? Ferrite plus perlite. Okay, you don't need to change. Okay, you, I mean, you still want ferrite and per perlite. Okay, now, why 0.8 is a good it's a good uh, percentage. Okay, can anyone tell me why? Usually, people when they carburize steel, they like to carburize at zero point seven seven to zero point eight three. Any idea why? Anyone? What is happening at that temperature? So the 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 reason why is this? Okay, so if if we have a diagram now, right? So this is percentage of carbon. This is temperature, right? And this is our seven two three degrees C. And over here, this, for example, this is our zero point eight. Okay. So what's happening down here, right? So this looks familiar to all of you, right? Why they like to use zero point eight, right? Percentage of carbon, right? They they love to use zero point eight. Right, it's because at point A, okay, I call this point A, right? The temperature required to transform mountain side 
our austenite is at lowest, right? Right, so you don't need to spend, not spend, you don't need to use what? Too much energy for thing, for heating up, okay? So I'm gonna write a, a term out for this so you remember. So when, it's not just heating, also the cooling, right? So you only heat to 0 0.083, then after that you have to quench. The lower temperature you use for holding, the better because you'll prevent what? Cracking, right? Cracking of your component. So that's why be, uh, a lot of time industry like to uh, use 0.8% carbon for the outer layer. Okay, so when carbon, okay, so when carbon, okay, when carbon is between 0 0.77. To 0 0.83 percent, right? The temperature the temperature required to obtain single phase austenite right microstructure before quenching is at its lowest Right, the quenching temperature is the low, uh, the holding temperature is lower. So when you quench, so this will prevent okay, so this will prevent cracking. The cracking of the component. There okay, we go, component. Uh, during quenching we also reduce part distortion it does not mean eliminate we reduce and finally consume less energy during heating okay so there's the advantage of uh, uh of heating this or having like 0 0.8 percent of carbon right before or, or, or introduce 0 0.8 percent of carbon on the surface and these are the what advantages so the last topic, uh, not the last, the second last topic we're going to talk about is the quenching medium. Okay, what quenching medium to use? Okay, what the quenching? So the most obvious one is water. All right. This is the most Obvious, so it's an effective quenching medium. Okay, due to its high heat of vaporization. So what do I mean by high heat of vaporization? Anyone? Anyone tell me what do I mean by high heat of vaporization? 
No. So it requires a lot of energy to transform from liquid to become gas. Okay. Because when we pull the heat away from the, the workpiece, right? It requires the, 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 the medium to, to, to store the energy and then the medium will transform. For the transformation,